Okay, you guys, so this is the space that I want to put the canvas art. I want it to touch all the way to the ceiling, and I know you can't see the ceiling, but I want it to go all the way at least to like right here. So it will be more like long and narrow. And I'm kind of worried that that's such an odd shape. It's such an odd shape that I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to find a canvas. I'm just going to go ahead now and take the length and the width in inches. So I got my measuring tape. 28 inches and a half. 60 by... <laughs> no, I'm not stumbling. I'm just taking the dramatic pause. 60 by the whole width of the wall. Like, so I can still use the other measurement. So now that I got my measurements, I'm going to go to Blake in Harlem, or maybe I should try to find it on a website first and see if that's an actual thing. Okay. Hey you guys, this is the next day or a couple of days afterwards. Let me turn off the TV. Right. Anyways, so I wanted to show you guys that I got some supplies to start my DIY canvas. Okay, you guys, so don't mind me. I'm in my skins, pajamas. It's Saturday morning, and um, I just feel very inspired. So I wanted to show you the canvas I got. I got this canvas from Michael. Cross it out. I don't know if it's 34 or 24. It has to be 24. Um, I'm going to show you briefly. Well, I'm going to show you how I look or where I want it to sit. So basically right here. Um, so I have like space on even sides, which is good. I feel like this is high enough that like I can put something down here. This is the plaster I will be using. It goes on pink and dries white when ready to sand and paint. I'm not planning on doing the whole canvas. I plan on making a design. I want to show you the spackles I have, and they're like three different ones. They're like three different sizes. And all of that is from Home Depot. I want to show you the design that I want to attempt to make my own spin off on. And if you've never seen this design, it's a by a famous artist named Andy Warhol. Actually, Kylie Jenner has this hanging up in her house. Hi, Kylie. The dollar signs, I want to create it with the um, plaster so it can be textured, 3D. Let's go ahead and get an accurate measurement. So, forty-eight by 28 by 28 by 28. So, I want about three as this. So, ugh. just because we're being lazy, I'm gonna go ahead and do 48 divided by three, which is 16. So I'm going to mark every 16 and. which is because I want money side, money side, money side, right? Then I want it to be that, that too. So two money signs for each because that's how his is. So I'm going to go ahead and find my half. So I'm going to use a cardboard to mimic my money sign. Okay, what do you guys think? Yeah? Does it look like the picture?
Okay, so I am all done. So this one is already drying. You see how lighter it is compared to like about the last one I done. Um, and I kind of just wanna like, I'm a little nervous that I didn't make it too thick. Hi guys, um, so this is the following Saturday. So boom. Get into it, very abstract, very modern. Well, not abstract, because it's clearly dollar signs, but look, it's so textured, it's 3D, it's smooth to touch. Like, it's a little buggy, but I feel like it gives it, it's like, character. So, with that being said, I went and stopped that. Flicks! Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna do a little quick haul. I went ahead and got some acrylic paint. So I had got a flat brush. She told me to get a flat brush, medium, medium. Then like a flat brush that's like small. Um, they're like Blick brand brushes. Then she told me to get a line brush. She said this is um, good for, I guess, edges and stuff like that, and you're gonna need one, so. I got me an easy clean palette. So I guess like, you know, mixing colors. Now, I'm gonna check on my catfish. by this painting let's let's just let's try it let's go big or go home you heard let's see because i only put a smather on my board anyway so like that's why it just but okay okay so now we're gonna move on to a yellow you see i keep doing that i'm so fucking sloppy with it I keep um going in between the the hole. The black green. Let's do just looking for reference. So pretty. Okay you guys, so my battery died, um, but I wanted to show you the finish work and this is how it looked with just like me painting the plaster. So I was obviously very sloppy with it, but I kind of liked that I was because you know, I wanted to look like very like, you know, very like hand painted and everything like that. So what I'm going ahead and doing right now is the overlapping layer to like add more details to the dollars so it's not just one color you see this like yellow and green and this you know this kind of effect oh my god you guys this is not turning out good no i'm gonna uh, clean this up with white paint but like i don't even know about the, i don't know it looks still so like amateur and then now i'm going on with this color trying to make it like this one and it's just like it's not looking as cool as i thought it would Ugh. you know what i want to do to fix it so i already started drawing out that i think i want the s to curve more in like the picture um but what also what else i'm going to do is add more plaster <laughs> And I don't really know how that works, adding plaster on top of plaster. But I want these things to be more 3D. So I'm going to build up the plaster and try to make this sticks out even more. So let's just attempt to do this. Okay, I wanted to show you the last part. You see how 3D it looks now? Like it's lifting off compared to how this looks. Gathering a lot. And I'm starting from the dollar sign, so I'm just like placing it on and then smoothing it out. What I was doing before was um, 
I was like s smashing it into the, the, the canvas. So it wasn't like high. It was like really smashed in and like smoothed out. So I'm just trying to make sure I remember to bubble it and then like a little bit of smashing just to smooth it out and then just get another clump and then just building it up. Compared to that, they're gonna be way more fluffy. You guys, I wish I, it can stay this color because this is like my theme color of my life. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna let it dry. Okay, you guys, so this is this is the very next day. Um, I noticed that it was drying. It was like 90 degrees in New York, so I noticed it was drying pretty fast. But since I made it thicker, I noticed that it was still like pink underneath it. So I let it completely dry the whole next day. I went to Home Depot and I got some spray paint. And this is how it's looking before I even decide to put any spray paint or anything on it. So it looks way more like foamy and bubbly. And I think this is like perfect now. Like this, I'm gonna love. I changed my complete mind. I'm gonna spray paint this white and I don't think I'm going to add color. Now I'm about to try to spray paint this on my balcony. So I'm going to wrap it up. I'm gonna try to cover up the windows. And then I'm gonna try to cover up the floor. So this is the conjunction I came up with. So hopefully it does not get on anything. Okay, let's do this. So, I spray painted the painting and I put it white and look at it. Seamlessly go into my wall, but it still look like art. Like walking in my house. You see, it's like... This looks so fucking fire. <laughs> canvas came out if Andy Warhol was around I'm sure he'll be proud of your girl and I think this just made a great focal entry point in my home definitely worth taking pictures of before you leave in the house maybe you have an outfit of the day all sorts of good stuff and like even just opening the door for the delivery guy I'm sure he's gonna be like wow what's in there <laughs> So I'm just kidding, but that's the end. So remember, do part one, then part three. If you want this look, if you're like your girl who has terrible painting skills, I know TikTok was so mad at me for that. But other than that, subscribe, push thumbs up, put your notifications on because I am trying to find my niche in my YouTube channel. So I will be posting vlogs, DIYs. This, that, and a third, just trying to find out where I feel most comfortable at with recording. So if you're interested in my look, in my voice, in my entertainment, and everything that I'm putting down, 
<laughs> subscribe please thank you my name is holly j walker and i'm out peace